This lesson will cover the following topics. The Opening Element Management System Management of Opening Elements by Infrared Remote Control Management of Opening Elements by Radio Frequency Remote Control Management of Opening Elements using the Renault Card Security Systems and Safety Mechanisms the opening element management system has evolved over the years. The early opening element management systems used a key and a lock barrel. More recent systems operate using a remote control unit. The opening element management system consists of the following components. A transmitter, either key or Renault card type, an infrared or radio frequency receiver, a decoder, possibly integrated into the UCH, and actuators which operate the door, tailgate and fuel filler flap mechanisms. Let's look first at the transmitters. As a general rule, identifying an opening element management system depends on the type of remote control used. The infrared remote control is easy to recognize. In addition to the battery warning light, the infrared remote control has an LED. The radio frequency remote control only has a battery warning light. Some recent vehicles are equipped with a radio frequency Renault card. Let's now look at the receiver and the decoder. On the old systems, the receiver and the decoder are separate components. The receiver sends data to the decoder via a cable. On recent systems, the decoder function is integrated into the UCH. The receiver aerial can also be integrated into the UCH. You can refer to the vehicle's technical documentation to find out the location of the various components. There are different types of actuator. On the old opening element management systems, the actuator is a separate component to the lock. By contrast, on the more recent systems, the actuator is an electric motor integrated into the lock. In the event of a motor fault, the whole lock must be replaced. Depending on the type of remote control used, the control signal takes different paths. In this section, we covered the following points. The electric closure of the opening elements has evolved over the years. The opening element management system consists of a transmitter, a receiver, a decoder, and actuators. As a general rule, identifying an opening element management system depends on the type of remote control used. The decoder function either uses a decoder unit or is integrated into the UCH. Depending on the system, the actuator is either inside or outside the lock. Depending on the type of remote control used, the control signal takes different paths. Let's look now at the system for managing opening elements with an infrared remote control key. The key is the combination made up of the metallic insert and the key head. The metallic insert is a mechanical component used for manual locking and unlocking of opening elements, switching on the ignition and starting the engine. The key head is a remote control used to manage the remote locking and unlocking of the opening elements. The key head emits an infrared signal when the button is pressed. Let's look firstly at the system for managing opening elements by infrared remote control. When the remote control command button is pressed, an infrared signal corresponding to the key code is sent by the transmitter. The receiver receives the infrared signal, transforms it into an electric signal and sends it to the decoder. The decoder converts the electrical signal into a code. The decoder compares the code received to the one held in its memory. If the two codes match, 
the decoder instructs the doors to unlock. The locking and unlocking procedures are identical. In this example, the system operates using a fixed code, unique for each vehicle. Let's now see what happens with a key that belongs to another vehicle. You can see that the code held in the remote control is different, EFGH. A remote control code different to that held in the decoder will not be recognized. The code is sent to the receiver and then to the decoder. This code is compared to the stored code, but the two codes do not correspond. Locking and unlocking of the opening elements is not possible. We now have a remote control with a rolling code. This code consists of two parts. A first fixed part corresponding to the vehicle and a second part that changes each time the remote control button is pressed. The locking and unlocking procedure is identical to that seen in the previous screens. By contrast, as soon as the remote control button is released, the code held in the key changes. Similarly, after the code received has been validated, the code contained in the decoder also changes. The disadvantage of the rolling code is that it is more sensitive to external interference. For example, proximity to a magnetic source, such as a television, can cause a rolling code to change. Now try to unlock the opening elements by clicking on the remote control button. As you can see, the code received no longer matches the code contained in the decoder. This phenomenon is known as desynchronization and can render the remote control inoperative. It is possible to use the door lock barrel to unlock the opening elements. The remote control must be resynchronized in order for it to work again. In this section, we covered the following points. The key head allows the opening elements to be locked and unlocked remotely. If the codes for the remote control and the decoder correspond, the decoder orders unlocking of the doors. A remote control code different to that held in the decoder will not allow locking or unlocking of the opening elements. The rolling code is a code which changes each time the remote control button is pressed. The disadvantage of the rolling code is that it is more sensitive to external interference. Let's now see the system for managing opening elements using a radio frequency remote control key. Unlike the infrared remote control key, the radio frequency control key does not have an LED. Pressing the remote control button generates a radio frequency signal. The main advantage of the radio frequency remote control is the activation of the opening elements at a greater distance. In addition, the transmitter does not have to be pointed towards the receiver. The code is transmitted by radio frequency towards a radio frequency receiver. The receiver transmits the code to the decoder. The decoder compares the code received to the one held in its memory. If the code is identical, the decoder unlocks the opening elements. The locking and unlocking procedures are identical. In this section, we covered the following points. Unlike the infrared remote control key, the radio frequency control key does not have an LED. With the radio frequency remote control key, it is possible to activate the opening elements at a greater distance without pointing the transmitter towards the receiver. The code is transmitted by radio frequency towards a radio frequency receiver. On certain vehicles, the remote control is integrated into the Renault card. The Renault card operates the locking and unlocking of the opening elements and has several other functions. The Renault card has an unlocking button 
and a locking button. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, there may be a third button which has different functions. For example, this button could activate the hands-free mode or open the tailgate. All Renault cards have an emergency key which can manually open the driver's door. Let's look first at the system for managing opening elements with a remote control Renault card. When you press on the button, a code is sent to a receiver aerial. The receiver aerial relays this code from the card to the UCH. The UCH analyzes the code, and if it is recognized, the UCH allows the opening elements to be unlocked. The UCH can recognize up to four cards with different codes. The locking of opening elements works in the same way as the unlocking, and therefore requires the button to be pressed. Let's now look at the system for managing opening elements with a hands-free opening Renault card. An optical sensor detects an unlocking request on the hands-free opening system. An infrared beam is continuously sent from a transmitter to a receiver via a reflector located on the door handle. When the driver or a passenger touches the handle, the beam is interrupted. The electronic stage detects the cutoff and informs the UCH of an opening request. If the vehicle is immobilized for longer than 72 hours, the sensors switch themselves to standby. You therefore need to lift the handle to activate a switch and thus wake up the system. The tailgate is not fitted with a sensor, instead it has an opening switch. It is not necessary to press the card button to unlock the opening elements on the hands-free opening system. When the handle is gripped, the lens sensor's infrared beam is interrupted. The unlocking request is sent to the UCH. The UCH examines the card using two transmitter aerials located in the roof and the rear bumper. If the card is in the examination area, it sends a signal to the receiver aerial. The aerial relays this code from the card to the UCH. The UCH analyzes the code, and if it is recognized, the UCH transmits an authorization signal to the opening element motors. The locking of opening elements is automatic on the hands-free opening system. The transmitter aerials located in the roof and the rear bumper continuously examine the card. When the card exits the zone covered by the aerial, it no longer responds. The UCH locks all the opening elements. A horn and the flashing of the hazard warning lights indicate that the opening elements are locked. Let's finally look at the system for managing opening elements with a hands-free opening Renault card. As for the hands-free opening system, the hands-free system uses optical sensors. The difference is in the order of examination of the card and the positioning of the aerials. The hands-free Renault card system examines the card via aerials located on the handles and the tailgate. When the handle is gripped, the optical sensor informs the UCH of the unlocking request. The UCH then activates the opening aerial located on the gripped handle. If the UCH does not detect the card in the zone covered by this aerial, the UCH will activate the other aerials in turn. We have seen that on the hands-free system, the optical sensor on the gripped handle detects the unlocking request for the opening elements. The unlocking request is sent to the UCH. The UCH examines the card using the aerial located on the handle. If the card is in the zone covered by this aerial, it transmits its code to the UCH. The UCH analyzes the code, and if it is recognized, the UCH authorizes the unlocking of the opening elements. On the hands-free system, locking the opening elements requires pressing on the locking button located on the handle. When the button is pressed, the opening element's locking request is transmitted to the UCH. As for the unlocking of the opening elements, 
The UCH examines the card before authorizing the locking of the opening elements. In this section, we covered the following points. The Renault card operates the locking and unlocking of the opening elements and has several other functions. When you press the button, a code is sent to a receiver aerial. An optic sensor detects an unlocking request on the hands-free opening systems. The UCH examines the card using two transmitter aerials on the hands-free opening system. The UCH locks the opening elements when the card leaves the zone covered by the aerials. The hands-free Renault card system examines the card via aerials located on the handles and the tailgate. As for the hands-free opening system, the hands-free system uses an optical sensor to detect the unlocking request. On the hands-free system, the locking of the opening elements requires pressing the locking button located on the handle. The opening elements management system varies depending on the vehicle. You can consult the vehicle driver's handbook to find out about its opening elements management system. In some cases, the emergency or resynchronizing procedures are also presented. With some vehicles, a card code is handed over with the keys or with the vehicle. This card can take different forms, from plastic coated cards to a simple label attached to the spare key. The card code carries the necessary codes for emergency and maintenance procedures or for a new key control. This card code does not feature on the new generation of keys and the Renault cards. The Renault keys and cards are supplied blank and are subsequently made specific to the vehicle. The range of radio frequency remote controls is considerable. This is why some vehicles are fitted with an automatic opening elements relocking system. To avoid leaving the vehicle unlocked in the event of accidental misuse of the remote control, the doors relock automatically after a given period. A locking system that is used most notably in the UK and known as deadlocking prevents the doors from being opened even using the handles inside the doors. Do not forget to mention it to the customer so that no one is left inside a vehicle fitted with this feature. Another system protects the vehicle occupants when driving. The RAID function is triggered when a certain speed is reached. The system can also be unlocked using an interior door handle or the central locking button. This system may be temporarily deactivated by the customer. Some models have a switch which enables the locking and unlocking of all internal opening elements. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, there may be a light which indicates the closure status of the opening elements. Click on the switch to lock the opening elements. If an opening element is not properly closed when the switch is pressed, the opening elements rapidly lock and unlock themselves. If an object is preventing the closure of an opening element, it is possible to lock the other opening elements by pressing the switch for 5 seconds. Note, if locking the opening elements is performed using a remote control, the switch is disabled. The feature known as the childproof lock prevents the rear doors from being opened by their interior handles. This feature can be activated by pressing a lever which is located near the rear door locks. Some models have a switch instead of a lever. This switch is located next to the driver's electric window button. The switch can also prevent the rear electric windows from being used. In the event of a power cut, some vehicles have emergency mechanisms. The fuel filler flap can be opened by pulling on the emergency lever located in the boot. Some vehicles have doors that can be locked by turning a small screw near to the lock. The door can therefore only be opened from the vehicle interior. In this section, we covered the following points. 
you can consult the vehicle driver's handbook to understand its opening elements management system. The card code carries the necessary codes for emergency and maintenance procedures or for a new key control. An automatic closure system for opening elements relocks the doors automatically. Deadlocking prevents the doors from being opened even using the handles inside the doors. The RAID function is triggered when a certain speed is reached. Some models have a switch which allows all the opening elements to be locked and unlocked from the inside. The feature known as the childproof lock prevents the opening of the rear doors by their interior handles. Some vehicles have emergency mechanisms.